Hi guys, this is a video about shells. There is bash, which means to bash, and I'm back on bash. It will say to me, hey, changing shell for Eric. Shell changed, done, now log out. To fish is the same, well, let's first go to ZSH, and then to fish back, right? So everything is stays the same because I was on fish. We always use this command scale. Scale is interesting and it shouldn't be frustrating. So the alias scale is um, something that we can have a look at if we type it in ZSH or in bash, it actually shows you something. In fish, it's actually a function. That's why we don't see anything. So the scale is actually the copy paste of the folder etc scale if you install fish if you install bash and zsh they have these files there are lots of aliases and i just saw an, a message on telegram saying where should i put my personal aliases right never in our files if you use a scale of course scale will override anything that's in here so Basically, a scale does Ctrl C and then copy paste it all over here. But we make a backup. Here is one of those backups. So your config is going to be backup, and you can always compare and get things back or put folders back. It's in the here. It's all copy paste. A backup is there. But what is better? Better is use the force. <laughs> now better is article next bash that is h let's see what we find changing your shell from bash to sh and back okay how to install changing your shell okay set as h all good functionality tutorials all good all good all good but if we type the word personal with it we get another hopefully <laughs> another example oh my god right too bad. Let's go to articlinks.com. Let's see what we get. Changing your shell from bash to sh and back. A tutorial, some applications, cp, cz, now we have cf, copy, fish, to fish, to bash. So all these commands is interesting. But where, ah, there it is. No, where did I see it? Control find personal. We need to find to see if that comes out of it. It has to be somewhere, right? The word personal. You want your personal aliases somewhere. Add your personal aliases to the bash RC the smart way. So I could actually make the same video and article. Maybe I should, right? Add your personal alias to the ZSH the smart way. Add your personal alias to the fish configuration the smart way and i'm gonna make these videos of these articles later but it's all the same thing it's pure workflow it says in the bash rc we have we end with this line if the file bash rc personal exists add it so any of your files that you have extra ideas sorry any of your aliases that you have you put it in the bash rc personal and even have a private one so these are this is this the coding and stuff like that passwords and stuff right bash rc personal this i can show you without any problem and i say here if private exists go get private and the thing i've just added is something i'd like to have around in my other systems and it's called um, cpu you know, we've seen these videos about me building the Xenmod kernel. And I was building them on one PC, the other PC. And then I have to know again what version, what, what CPU do I have? Skylake or Ivy Bridge is to the left, to where I have the NVIDIA card in there. So I need to know quickly what's the name so I can select it in the Xenmod kernel build. So I've made a new alias just for me. Nobody else has it. So if I want to 
have my own aliases or change the aliases that we have, right? If update is not to your liking and you want to put something else in there as a content, uh, the name update is okay, but the content isn't. All you need to do is just start typing alias update. What will it be? Will it be pseudo pacman minus s and a y? Then it's that. It's entirely up to you and it should go in the bash rc personal, in the zsh rc personal, or and now we have the new guy on the block, fish. Fish, fish, fish. And in the fish, we've also told him, these are all work, work documents, right? This is created by you. It can never be overwritten by me, nor the other ones, the personal files are, it's you saying, right mouse click, create document, give it a name. And then in there, in the alias fish, I've just put this. So maybe you're interested as well. The application is called CPU ID, install it, sudo pacman minus S alias, um, sorry, a CPU ID. And then you can execute and it will find the U arch. And then the first line, I wanna see the first line and that's it. As simple as that, nobody is the wiser. All your aliases go in the personal files. In this case, it's called alias fish. How do you know that? It's explained here. You can load a private file, private fish. You can load git commands that you're thinking of. I would like to have git commands. Put all your git stuff in there. Git clone, git push. GC is git clone and GP is git pull. Fine, create aliases all you want and put them here or here, anywhere, right? Doesn't really matter where you put them, but this is intended for private stuff and this is intended for git stuff and this is just general aliases. So this is our configuration and it goes to, if, if again, if the file exists, then it will load it. Super simple, super nice, super interesting. So yes, I'll put this video into the other articles. So it's one overview of all our, um, well, 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 shells, right? Bash, ZSH and fish. And the thing is, use the scale, but use the Bash or C personal, use the ZSH personals, use the other files that you can create more files. I'll not create them, otherwise I'll overwrite them with a scale command. You need to create a document called, I don't know, private fish and put stuff in there. That's just for you. That's the idea. And that's how we stay in control of our own operating system. All right. Cheers.